Hello everybody, Cub Fan here. Just wanted to shoot a quick video. Went to the card show today and I kind of turned this into a $100 budget video uh, because I was pretty strict on myself before I went to this card show and I did something that I don't normally do. I mean, I always give myself a budget, but I gave myself a strict $100 budget and um, I told myself gave myself a list of things I was looking for. So I was really looking to complete some of my runs on my uh, Williams and Banks run. Um, of course, my Sandberg PSA run, and as well as just filling needs and wants on the PC and not just going crazy and picking up things all over the place. And for the most part, I'm pretty happy um, but I did pick up some stuff that was outside of the PC, but still nice cards. Um, but I really just picked them up because I couldn't beat the price. So we are going to get straight in it. And I'm going to start with uh, the two that I was specifically looking for. Um, so I can put these out and get going. So this is um this is basically the list. This is what I got left on the runs. And I was able to cross off one on the Billy Williams. And I picked up this 71. And these are these are tough to come by. And I actually have a 71 already. But the one I have is pretty creased up and just just an ugly card. And so I didn't even say that I have it. I just, you know, it's, I'm not even considering it an upgrade. It's just, I just need to get a new one. So there's the 71, which I'm happy to mark that off. And then this one was a pleasant surprise. Um, the 64 banks. And I'm happy to knock that off the list. Card number 55. And it is... It's pretty sharp. It's really clean. Surface is nice, but the centering's great. Corners look good. I was really stacked about that. That was probably the most expensive card I picked up today. And uh, But we'll get to the totals here in a little bit. And then uh, some of the smaller, cheaper stuff, just uh, for the memorabilia. There's a nice little carry wood, game use piece. These were, $3 each, no special deal or anything, but three bucks each. Was happy about that. Another carry wood from Diamond Cut, nice little jersey. And then probably one of the ugliest autographs, but there's a Felix PA. And that I just, that is an awful auto. But, and add a Cub PC auto for three bucks, I'm all about it. And here is another one. Well, we'll keep going here. And then picked up this Ed Howard for three bucks. And then this is kind of outside the PC, but I picked up this David Montgomery. Still can't believe we got rid of him and what he's doing in Detroit. Kid's a stud. But for the Bears PC, three bucks. Nice little ad. And then I also picked up this uh, Don Zimmer Auto on an 89 Tops card. Thought that was pretty cool. Now I did uh, I did bulk that with this, the Lee Smith Immaculate, and it's numbered to 99. I don't I don't really care about that. Just a nice little autograph card. And it did have a price tag of 35 on it. And there was no price tag on the Don Zimmer. And I got those both from the same guy. And I picked both of those up for 25 So I was pretty happy about that. And some more miscellaneous for the Cubs PC, the 72 Jenkins. Um, not really going after the run, but I mean... It's, it's, it would be an easy one to do, but anytime I can find him in a Cubs uniform during his playing days, I'll pick those up. 
then the 70 Pick that up as well and I got those with the this one here and I was able to bundle those and just I just paid 10 for those and then um, this was an upgrade so this was in a 72 box two dollars each and uh, the one I have has got some smuts on the nose right here so this will definitely upgrade and then I'll send the one I have and I'll put that in the binder for sure that is a nice upgrade for two bucks was happy about that and also picked up this 72 now I kind of in my opinion I overpaid for this but I paid two bucks they had a their vintage in a box everything two bucks but I didn't mind because in that same box was this 72 Fisk and Cecil Cooper rookie. And I know it's got, uh, it's got a little damage down there on the corner, but no creases. And then that corner as well. But I just, I asked the guy three times. I was like, are you sure everything in this box is two bucks? He goes, yeah, that's it. That's my $2 box. So I was like, okay. And this one was in that same box as well too. And so I couldn't beat that at all. So there it is. Um, tell me what you guys think. I ended up uh, with my $100 budget. I ended up spending 98. Um, I was pretty ecstatic about that. And I was pretty happy about with what I came back with. So you guys uh, tell me what you think and uh, thanks for watching.